Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com and I wanted to show you how to install Java using Adopt Open JDK. Well, the first step is to go to adoptopenjdk.net. Uh, when you get there, you'll have a couple of options. You want to download 8, 11, or 12. You might be wondering why 9 and 10 aren't there. That's because those aren't long-term support releases. Uh, Open JDK is the latest. So I'm going to grab that. And then it says, uh, which JVM do you want to use? And notice you've got two options here. You've got uh, Hotspot, which I believe is the most widely used JVM. Uh, but then you've actually got OpenJ9. And OpenJ9 is, I think it's based on the IBM distribution. Uh, and uh, uh, that is an incredibly, infinitely scalable JVM. So. Those are two of your options that you have right there. There's lots of JVMs on the market, by the way. Um, but these are the two that you get to choose with Adopt Open JDK. So I'm going to select those and click uh, Download. Looks like it's got the, the link right there. Do you want to save this file? I will say definitely yes. And as you can see from the little icon up here, that is downloading. And uh, it's just going to take a moment to do that. And once the little icon indicates that everything's downloaded, I'm going to open up that folder, take a look at the open JDK right there, and notice that the format is a little executable file, or MSI, and it's about 177 megs in size. So the next step is just to double click, get the installation going. Do you want to actually install? Yes. The installer prepares. Do you accept all of these license agreements? Uh, the new general license agreement isn't too restrictive. Notice it's got the option to add to path and set the Java home variable. I'm going to actually do both of those. Um, now the other thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to change the location. I always like to just put the, the JDK in a, an easy to access folder. And this is JDK 12, so I'm going to throw this right into the... Yeah, I don't ever like putting things in program files. If I have, ever have to write a script that's got a space in it, it just... I mean, you shouldn't be referring to the entire path, but... So I'm going to put JDK 1.2. Boy, I haven't done that in about 20 years, right? When JDK 1.2 came out. Um, hopefully no one will think that is Java 2, Java 1.2. But I'll put JDK 12 there, and uh, I guess I'll put... 0 in there just so that people don't think it's Java 1 2. I'll click OK, click Next, tell the tool to definitely install because it's too late to back out now. And there we go, we have the complete installation of OpenJDK. Now did that really work? I guess is the question we are all asking ourselves, but there's the JDK folder. There's the famous bin directory. I'm going to open up, uh, I think I'm actually going to open up a command prompt here. There's a command prompt. And I'll move into that JDK folder. Move into the bin folder as well and say, Java, what version are you? And there you can see we've got the open JDK. Uh, the Open JDK Runtime, the Open J9 VM, and looks like everything is working and installed. Um, I think I can even move out of here and ask that same question. And because the J JDK bin folder has been added to the path, let's see if we can actually echo that path. And so since the JDK 1.2 has been added to the path, and I should be able to see it right there, right at the beginning, because it's been added to the path, I can access Java anywhere on the command line. Anyways, there you go. That's how easy it is to install the JDK, uh, the J9 JVM, all using Adopt Open JDK.